Hi everyone, I'm Tim Von Rieden here at cgcookie.com, and have you ever wanted to change the dock icons on the bottom of your Mac screen? But you don't want to use just some icons from the internet, you want to use your own art and create icons out of those? Then this tutorial is for you. So here's the full desktop in all of its glory, but we're going to focus on the bottom docking bar here, and you can see how every application has a representative icon, and you can change that to be whatever it is that you want it to be. So let's go ahead and change the icon for Photoshop. So I'm going to look at some of the previous artwork I've done, and I'm going to be looking for art that has a spherical shape to it that I could then pull from. So like these crystals would be a great one if I wanted to grab one of those. But I'm going to grab, let's say, this Melvin Ragdoll that we have here for the Eat Sheep concept. I'm just going to drag it to the desktop. I'm going to open it with Photoshop. I'll make it really big so you guys can see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the crop tool and I'm going to holding down shift so that I get a perfect square. I'm going to try to keep it as close to the edges as I can without overlapping. So right about there. So the big thing that we want to keep in mind is that we want to make this image a PNG in the final um, when we finally save it out. So I need to make sure I get rid of all that white that's in that background there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the magic wand tool, which you can also do with uh, W on the keyboard. And I'm going to grab all that white. Now you might initially not be able to grab all of it if it's not completely clean. So let's say I set my tolerance to zero. You can see how then when I delete, we still have a lot of white on that edging. And that's because the tolerance is so low. So if I change it to 20, so if it's a little higher, then when we grab it, you can see how it gets pretty close to the edge. And that's close enough that we can then go ahead and then just delete the selection. And now from here, I'm also going to erase, using just my eraser tool, all the extra that we don't need. So I will keep the head wrapping that we got, so all these frills right here. Then I'm going to use my eraser tool and try to get as close to the edge as possible. And if I overlap it a little bit, that'll be all right, because then I can just grab my brush tool and then give the line work some better edging. And I think I may just do that. So I'm going to grab my brush tool, grab a similar outline color, and go for it. So this can even be done if you want to start from scratch. Just make sure you have a clean edge and that we're going to save it out as a PNG. That's probably the most important part. All right, so now that we got that, I can grab my crop tool and maybe get a little closer to the edge without overlapping, though. It's right about there. And now we're going to go to File, Save for Web. Now, initially, it'll probably be on the JPEG, but we want to go to PNG-24. And the biggest thing you want to make sure is that you have this transparency box checked. And you can see the difference when you don't have a check, it has like a white background. And then when you do, it doesn't have that white background. So now we do save. We can save a Melvin icon. And here it is. So, so that it doesn't get lost with all the other things, I'm going to pull it out to the center here. I can throw the original in the garbage. So now there's just a few more steps to take it from this PNG to the actual icon of Photoshop. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the Melvin icon that we just created with Preview. And now while it's open in Preview, you do Command A, which will select it all, and then Command C, which will copy. And from here, I'm going to open up my hard drive, go to my Applications, and then find Photoshop. And now I'm going to right click it and do Get Info. So now on here, you can see how it has a preview of the icon, but we're not going to be clicking that one. We're going to be clicking the icon right in the top left corner. And you should get a little light blue border around it. And now when you see that, do your Command V, which will paste. And you should see the preview change to the Melvin head. Then we can X that out. X out your preview. And now, if we close Photoshop and reopen it, 
you can see how the icon has now changed to the Melvin head. So from here, you could go forward and customize all the applications on your dock, and maybe you want to do a theme, maybe you just want to confuse people when they're looking at your screen. But whatever it may be, it's kind of a cool little trick that you can do to customize your dock just a little bit further. And there is also a written tutorial that gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how this process went down. And if you feel you created a pretty cool icon, you should share it by posting in the user submitted images below. And lastly, thanks for checking out this tutorial from conceptcookie.com.